one did he hit? The clear one? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That's the fish trout. The swallow, the leader. On the shellmet rig. David and I are out here on a beautiful fall November morning on the trestles. A lot of boats here along with us. Shellmet rig, look at it. It's got some nice tug. A little bit bigger. even a trope? No, this is a flounder. You got me a flounder, people. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Look at that. Beautiful. It's been a while since I caught a flounder on the trailer of the Shellmet rig. Well, that's the end of Shellmet rig. Broke off and I don't have any more tied on, so Oh, that's a 14-inch four, or 14. There we go. Looks like a nice one, though. Go! Had a good hit. Nice trout. Right there. That trout came on the matrix shad ultraviolet just on the 5 16 ounce jig head. So what we're doing here, getting getting some fish and getting a lot of hits. We're throwing up current, which where we are on the trestles, that's the south end of the trestles that way. And the current, when it's going out of the lake, you have more current moving through the south end than the north end, and it moves kind of diagonal through the pylons, uh, through under the trestle. So we're casting what is essentially up current and bringing it back toward the boat. All right. You're in the groove there. You've got a good... Small Maybe. one. But that's the thing. They've been hitting me three, four times on every one of these last couple casts. And that's a small one. Yeah. Look at this. Unless it's a piece of wire. <laughs> No, it's swimming out here. It's probably a flounder, John. Cool. Go, oh, it's tugging good. Son of a booger. If you're a trout, don't you get off. Don't you get wow, you got something. Don't you? But it's not sw do you think it's swimming like a trout. No, it's probably not a trout. No. Might be a flounder, but flounders kick a lot. Is it a big drum? I can. No nope. drum. Might be a big flounder. It's a stingray. Hooked in the right back, back there. You got to. I'm not gonna. I'm cutting it. I'm not gonna take it. a chance. Oh yeah, nice trap. Oh, yeah. Whoop. So we have moved to the east side of the trestle, so that we're on the downstream side. Dave just had a hit. Downstream side of, down current side of the trestle itself. We're casting, we're going into the current. The current is of course coming through diagonally on this part of the trestle when the tide's going out. But we cast up to the pilings, let it fall and then let the lure just float with the current back toward us. Getting hits and fish. But that's a change from a little bit earlier when we were on the west side of the trestle, which is the upstream side. And there were some trout there too, but this seems to be a little more consistent. Also, there are a lot fewer boats on this side. 
so we can move down the trestle and fish. And find the fish instead of having to wait for the fish to come to us. I'm just wondering a little bit far. Yeah, I think the you got to if we're not as far, we can cast further forward and move it with. Right now we might be kind of pulling it out of the current pretty there fast. There you go. But I, I was also wondering is the current throwing the lure over their heads where they don't, you know, they're not going to attack it. We're too close. But you got a good one on there. That one seemed to get you fairly close to the pond. Yeah. Super close. That's a nice one. Nice try. It's amazing how much slack line I can give the bait on the initial fall and still catch fish. And this is a really good example of that. I just feed out the line. I'm still able to connect with the fish. There we go. A couple of rings. Yeah. Still just pop fish. dragging slow on bottom. Real slow. Yeah. In fact, uh, this guy picked it up. Nice trap. When it was just. Are you popping up? Are you gently? Or are you popping to the side? I'm just let uh, up, and I'm letting it. I'm actually just letting it float more okay. than anything else. A couple of those last two fish came in. It may like bait was just floating. They may like that color. Yeah, well, this is a because I have an incredible a, color. Yeah, that's the UV. Yep. Yep. Yeah, see, I hate to screw up a drip. So those last three fish I just caught just proves the point of that I'm learning that don't be afraid of not being able to feel the take because the slack line that keeps you from feeling the take will also let the bait be sucked in by the trout. And so, uh, and, and then they're less um, disturbed by a feeling, an unnatural feeling of weight on the line or on the bait that they pick up. There you go. All right, Josh. Very slow. That's a keeper. Yep. Nice fish. Yeah, so I've been catching fish more, I think more dragging or falling than popping. So uh, that may be, we try to work from that principle a little more, see if we can connect with a few more fish because they're there. I think they are here. They're just not hitting a fast moving bait. That one, that one hit me right beneath the piles. Okay, yeah, the current is slowing way down, so that may be the key. There's one. It's a nice trap. Yeah. Nice don't, don't worry about Whoa. it. That's a good 16. 16. Yeah, it was a nice morning on Lake Pontchartrain. The trestles was, uh, this trout wouldn't, I wouldn't say they were stacked up heavy, but uh, there were also an awful lot of boats out here. So a lot of fishing pressure. Uh, but we did, we did get into groups of them occasionally and uh, had some good action. But uh, tide is pretty much stopped now, so we're not going to wait for it to turn and come back in. So hey, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you on the water next time.